Hello friends, today we study how to standardize the EDTA solution that is the disodium EDTA solution and uh, with the help of complex metal titration. So we will prepare here 0 0.05 molar EDTA solution and we will standardize with the help of uh, calcium carbonate. So uh, here first of all we discuss it is a complex metal titration. So complex metal titration means uh, a titration in which we are going to have the complexation that means this EDTA which is used as a chelating agent here uh, that is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid which is having the um, the site to form to uh, engulf or to uh, capture the metal so that is why this EDTA is acting as a chelating agent and with the help of this we are going to estimate out the concentration of uh, calcium also so first of all we will standardize this EDTA solution so here the solution that we take for the standardization is a calcium carbonate. So the reference is from the bracket standard and its page number requirement is as per the chemicals and the glassware. And the theory behind this uh, titration is a replacement titration. Replacement titration or substitution titration it is. In this case uh, what we are using, we are using the calcium uh, as well as we are going to use the magnesium also in the, as in the metal form. How it is? Because this calcium, the indicator that we are going to select here is a solochrome black tea. Solochrome black tea or erochrome black tea. So this uh, indicator is not found to be sensitive toward this metal. So it, all, it will not give the sharp end point or sharp uh, color change will not, it will not give. It is not able to give the sharp end. That is why magnesium metal is added. So magnesium metal is going to replace this calcium and form a complex with the solochrome black tea. So uh, when the EDTA solution was added, it was uh, react with the free calcium ion which is present in the solution. Later on, it will react with the magnesium ion which is having complex with the solochrome black tea. Initially, this color was found to be wine red. Then it will finally, when this all the magnesium was consumed by the EDTA, it will convert into blue. So from that, it will get the idea that our titration is over. Afterward, this axis that magnesium salt which is added in the calcium is it is uh, also volumetrically evaluated with the help of um, blank determination. So now let us see what is the procedure behind this. In this case. Uh, First of all, we will prepare the disodium EDTA solution. So, in this case, disodium tetrahydrate is available in our lab. So, we have written the molecular weight for disodium uh, EDTA dihydrate that is a 372.24. So, for 1 liter solution, when you will calculate, it will come 18.6 gram. So, you can calculate by using the simple uh, formula of normal that is weight upon equivalent weight multiplied by 1000 upon the volume. So that will come around that is the 18.6 gram of disodium EDTA. So that will take in the burette. This will be taken in the burette. That is EDTA. Now in the conical flask we are going to take the calcium carbonate. So when we do the calculation for the calcium carbonate it is 0 0.0 for the 0 0.05 molar solution of calcium carbonate. We know the molecular weight for calcium carbonate is 100. So when we calculate it, uh, it will come, amount will come 0.5 gram. So this is the molecular weight for calcium carbonate. When you will calculate it uh, for the calcium carbonate, that is the ion is equal to W by equivalent weight multiplied by 1000 divided by volume. Uh, so when you will replace it, W in place of N, you will write 0.1. In the place of W, we'll write W, that is weight you have to calculate. Here, equivalent weight is 100 divided by 100. So, it is not 0.5, it is 0 0.05 because we are doing the calculation 0 0.05. So, weight will come around 0.5 gram. So, this is nothing but this is the same thing written. So, calcium carbonate is not water soluble. So, we have added the 5 ml of dilute HCl in the beaker. This calcium carbonate transferred in the beaker, in that we will add the 5 ml of dilute HCl. So what the dilute HCl will do? Dilute HCl will react with the calcium carbonate from the calcium chloride. There will be the uh, effervescence will be going to be obtained. 
here. Now the finally volume was made to 100 ml with distilled water. Now this is taken in the volumetric flask, 100 ml volumetric flask. It is transferred into 100 ml volumetric flask. Then finally, uh, with the help of volumetric pipette, 20 ml of this solution of uh, calcium carbonate, which is converted into calcium chloride, is transferred into conical flask. In that, we add the buffer. That is the ammonia ammonium chloride buffer solution is going to add. So when we have to prepare this ammonia ammonium chloride buffer, so here there is a two component that is ammonium chloride and ammonia. So you will take around. And now to prepare this buffer, we will take uh, 6.75 gram of ammonium chloride. Itna ammonium chloride layering and then ammonia around 57 ml. Then we will make the volume to 100. 100 ml is the volume burning and that will get the we will get the ammonium ammonium chloride buffer solution. From that we will take the 5 ml of uh, ammonia buffer. Then you will add the uh, magnesium sulfate solution. So magnesium sulfate now to prepare 0 0.05 molar magnesium sulfate solution. So magnesium sulfate generally exists in the form of heptahydrate that means 7s2 form. So its molecular weight is found to be uh, 246.48. So when you will calculate for 0 0.05 molar, so it will come around uh, that is 1.2 gram for 100 ml. So cal just calculate it and you will get the around 1.2 gram you have to write weigh out the magnesium sulfate and dissolve in 100 ml. From that 5 ml will be taken in the uh, conical flask. So we will add the calcium carbonate, then buffer, then magnesium sulfate, then the Indicator that is a pinch of indicator that means solid indicator has to be added that is a ediochrome black tea that will be prepared with the help of sodium chloride in that we have to take the one gram of that is ediochrome black tea and 100 gram of that uh, that is a, up to 100 gram we have to make it with the sodium chloride and triturate it and from that we have to take the pinch in this solution now we'll titrate this solution with the EDTA solution until its color changes to blue when the color changes to blue, we will note the end point. That end point is that. Then after this, as we have added here the magnesium sulfate solution. So magnesium sulfate solution will be uh, blank. Titration for that has to be done. For magnesium sulfate, which is present in this, uh, we have added 5 ml of 0 0.05 molar uh, magnesium sulfate. So for that, we will perform the blank determination. So for the blank determination, what you will do? Because in this uh, reading, previous titration, we are getting the excess amount of um, because we have added the magnesium sulfate. So that means these this quantity of uh, volume of magnesium sulfate is also added in that. So in order to remove that, we will add the we will do the separate titration. In this, we will take the EDTA and in the conical flask, we will take the we will not take the sample here. Calcium carbonate will not happen. Directly, we will take the magnesium sulfate solution that is a 5 ml we have taken previously same volume will take then buffer will take that is ammonia ammonium chloride buffer and then uh, that is a indicator will take indicator as it is will take and we will titrate it until its color uh, convert to blue so wine red to blue it will convert so we will stop it here so that end point will note so 5 ml of, if we are taking the 5 ml of this magnesium sulfate, so end point will come near about 4.8, 4.5, whatever it may come out, we will note it. Suppose for the previous titration, which we have done, where we have added the calcium carbonate in the magnesium sulfate, it was coming around 24.8 ml. So the final volume for the sample will be, that will be what, 24.8 minus 4.8, that blank will be minus by this, so it becomes 20 ml. So, this will be the volume that will be used for the final calculation to calculate out the normality of EDTA solution. So, now from this, we will calculate the normality of EDTA solution by calculating in respect to uh, by N1, V1 to N2, V2. In that, we will keep it is for EDTA and this we keep for the sample that is a calcium carbonate. So we know that calcium carbonate, whatever we have made out, we will calculate the normality from there because it was acting as the primary standard and here N1 will be calculated, V1 is nothing but the ETS volume 
that is here 20 ml so here it will be n1 will be 20 n2 is nothing but it will be calculated on the basis of the weight of calcium carbonate so that normality will put here suppose it was coming 0.1232 82 so that I have written that is I have supposed of that according to the weight it will be varied from person to person V2 is nothing but the volume of calcium carbonate uh, that we have taken to, so 20 ml we have taken so we will make it 20 so from this we will calculate the normality of our uh, EDTA solution so EDTA solution normality will be calculated like this now this solution will be used for the further titration of any sample if we are having the sample of calcium separately or calcium in the form of calcium chloride or the calcium sulfate or the calcium carbonate that can be calculated or estimated with the help of this uh, EDTA solution.